Happy Wednesday and Love and Lace Collection release day. Catherine and Erica here. Today's video is going to be full of color, inspiration, mm. and beautiful things. All of Are you ready? Things. I'm ready. Yes. So our friends are popping in. We are, yes. uh, if you're here with us live, hello, hello. Uh, hang out with us in the chat box. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Let us know if you've placed your order already and what is going to be on its way to you. If you are a Stamp Nation member, you got a coupon for a free stamp set. So what did you grab for free from the shop? Let us know in the chat. If you're here on the replay, welcome to you too. We're so happy you're here. We're going to share some Valentine's inspiration. But when we create a collection of products mm -hmm. that are Valentine's theme and love theme, mm -hmm. We don't just want you to be able to make love cards with that. Right, because that you'd use <clears throat> once. Or twice. Or, or twice. three times. Yeah. Yeah. For one specific occasion. But we want you to be able to use it for lots of occasions. Yes. I've got my Shaka Taco mug of coffee. I'm all set to go. Does anybody go we to Love Shaka Taco Island in North Carolina? But maybe one person who's on the live will know about Topsail. Shaka Taco. Oh my god, my lipstick on there too. All right, we're all set. <laughs> so let's take a peek down. I'm going to go through the bundles in the collection that is brand new in the shop. This is our color palette for the Paper Hearts Patterned Paper Pack. Uh, if you're hanging out here with us live too, let us know how the sound is. We have the mic plugged in yesterday on our live stream at on Stamp Nation, it might have been a, a little, little bit loud. loud. So let us know how the sound is and if we need to make any adjustments. We turned it down a little. So, <clears throat> so here's Paper Hearts. It goes great with Pink Champagne, Merlot, Serene, Crushed Violet, Sparkling Berry, and Midnight. Look at these gorgeous patterns. Ooh, 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 so pretty. So these were all created to coordinate together with each other. Uh, we have a great mix of geometric prints and more uh, image heavy prints because you need both to be able to mix and match and use on your cards. So if you, you know, only have a pack full of these, you can't really use both on a card. You're going to need something like this to mix in. So we provide both in our paper packs. And then we also just grab a color palette straight from our ink line. So that color is really easy for you. We have a sequin mix to go with it. This is Lisbon. Lisbon? Lisbon. Lisbon! Mm -hmm. You want to talk about the sequin mix? Um, sure. We named this one for Lisbon, Portugal. Um, their old city area has pastel colored buildings, which is a um, point of focus for them. How do you say that? It's something that tourists like to see. <laughs> yeah, there but you go. It's a romantic city. Mm -hmm. and we wanted to highlight some romantic cities. In, uh, to go with the paper, yes. we have the Yours Truly stamp set. There are three, three main image hearts. One has this leafy, swirly image filling it. One has these gorgeous roses, and one has this mandala with a paisley leaf. I don't know if you guys know, but all of our artwork is custom. So we work with our illustrators we put concepts together. We work with them as they illustrate our, you know, ideas and inspirations. And these, all of the art in all of our stamp sets is custom. It's fresh. It's not, um, you know, it was made just for us. So I don't know if you guys knew that. Gorgeous. So pretty. So hugs and kisses. Yours truly. Sending all my love. And it's you again. I adore. And several of our friends want a full pack of black and white gingham. <laughs> ah, that would be, that would be amazing. Fun. <laughs> okay, so we have the coordinating dies. And the fun thing with this one, too, is that you can use these hearts with or without the stamp set. <clears throat> and then we have the Nottingham Lace Cover Plate. Do you want to talk about this a little bit? Because we worked really hard on this We one. did. We really wanted to add a lot of detail to it. So um, we worked with our manufacturer and our illustrator to try to figure out how much detail we could add. And we put a whole bunch of extra little 
slash marks basically uh -huh. into this to give it a more lacy feel. So this one is gorgeous. It actually cuts out really, really nicely, even though it's quite intricate. Um, but if you feel nervous about that or your die cutting machine is um, antique, <laughs> you could run it through a couple of times or try a shim, but we've had beautiful results and your machine is antique. You're, you got to go yeah. old classic and old faithful. So, yeah. um, but yeah, we're really, really excited about how that came out. It's gorgeous. It's got some of the paisley element, some floral element, and it is just a beautiful lace cover plate. And uh, using the same stamps, you can get a little bit different look. This one is just layered with some patterned paper. And then this one is layered with pat uh, just a strip of patterned paper and then some of these little die cuts to go uh, to pop up off the top. Because if you've been around hanging out with us for a while, you know we don't just do the main image stamps. We always add in as much we, as we can. We add in little elements so that you're able to layer and really make a polished custom handmade card like this. Look at how pretty that is. So pretty. Hola Nelly, welcome. We love meeting new people. If this is your first time here, like Nelly, do say hello and let us know. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if everyone wants to take a second to go hit that thumbs up button, we'd so appreciate it. It helps YouTube know that you enjoy our videos and it helps them uh, know that they should show our video to other people. We always appreciate that. So this black and white can be used just as is. We had two of our card makers, Lisa Harrell and Melissa Andrew, colored in a few of the hearts. I thought that was so clever. Very cute. So this one, she just took the color straight from the paper pack. And then this one, she did primary colors. So, so cute. And then, let's see, this is Amanda Fitterer. What? What? She's a coloring queen. Ooh, these are gorgeous. So these papers here were taken from the other bundle that we'll show in a minute. But I just want to take a second and give you guys a really good look of how she colored in these beautiful hearts. <clears throat> I love it. A few of our friends are also saying they have antique Sizzik die cutters that still work like champions. So nice. um, holla at us if you have an antique. I think <laughs> I have it three now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many Sizzik's big shots do you have? Yeah. Pop it in the chat. <laughs> Oh, I love gorgeous, these. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so let's gather up all of this goodness and move on to the next bundle. So also you can hit that uh, paper, uh, what's the bundle called? Huh? What's the bundle, bundle you just shared? Yeah. What's that this? was the um, Yours Truly Bundle. Yours Truly Bundle. You can purchase the whole thing and get a little discount. You can also uh, pick and choose your favorites and put your own bundles together. But when you purchase our bundles, know that they were coordinated by artists and illustrators to work together with the colors and the images. And when you purchase the whole bundle, you're gonna have card making success because everything was made to coordinate. Look at these gorgeous patterns. Love it. The color palette, we have buttercream, apricot, nope, <laughs> polished, matcha, Winter green and skylight. <clears throat> <coughs> and as I continue to talk here, I might get a little froggy at the end of my cold. Woo, it's been hanging on here for a couple weeks now. Yeah, it's a lingering uh, beast. So this is the Roses Are Red stamp set, and you'll find some of these rose images in the patterned paper here. And then we have this lace pattern here that we pulled from the patterned paper and made a stamp set out of it. So you can see how beautifully and seamlessly these products work together. That's funny because that actually did happen that way. And yeah. that is not always the case, but Becca did that sheet and we were like, oh my gosh, this needs to be a stamp set. So she uh -huh. adapted and then created the big lace stamp as well. But we were like, how pretty is that? Yep. Want to stamp it? Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so there's that. And then we have the With Love die. <clears throat> this is the Roses and Lace. Roses and Lace bundle. bundle. Okay. This is the biggest bundle of all of them. Um, lots of gorgeous things in here. Look at these card samples. These are by Arsenia, who guested with us this month. I love the addition of gold, the gold flex. I'm going to maybe do that on my card today. <clears throat> we do love a little splatter. 
So lots of great ideas here. Alina created these two cards. Just a piece of patterned paper in the back and then she die cut all these roses and leaves and popped them up here. And then this one is a little bit simpler but still very impactful. <clears throat> Another card by Arsenia with an alternate color palette. I, I really love those green blue <clears throat> leaves on there. I think that's really fun. Yeah, I'm gazing at them now in adoration. <laughs> so I think, is this It's a Girl with Red? Yeah, I think it's Samba. That's beautiful. And then Tiffany Price. How do you say her last name? Awesome. Price Rissom. Okay. Um, she guessed it with us as well, created this beautiful She's song. here. Oh, hey, hey Tiffany. Tiff. Say hey, girl, hey. <laughs> And here's another one by Tiffany. Monique was hollering, hey girl, hey, at the beginning. Of hey girl, hey. <laughs> Gotta give and our shout outs. One more by Tiffany. Look mm. at these. Mm. So beautiful. I like how she inked up the um, Diamonds Are Forever background stamp on that. It's really, really pretty. And so simple to do, guys. Simple really to do an ombre right. inking on a background stamp. <clears throat> okay, and then one more by Arsenia. I love this edition of Twine hair. And she did an ombre ink blending situation there too. So Tiffany went top to bottom and Arsenia went diagonal with her inking. Look at that. And how do you figure out what colors you're gonna use for ombre inking like this? Oh, Any ideas? I have some ideas. <laughs> oh, grab your color <laughs> wheel. So if you have not downloaded this from our shop yet, head over to shop.catherinefuller.com Hover over the shop navigation and find free downloads. We have ink swatching charts. We have color combo guides. We have the color wheel. And so if you want to do this in orange, head here. Apricot is our lightest. Orange peel, mandarin spice, and ginger are the other colors that you want to use. I think she used clay mask and polish on that card. but So red orange would be clay mask, polished, and terracotta. So pretty. <clears throat> so the color wheel is also going to come into play when we're doing the layering stamps here like she did. So we'll do that in just a minute. When we, we start one thing. One more little baby bundle. One more baby bundle. One more baby bundle. Oh, I made this yesterday. Give it a shimmy. <coughs> With our Stamp Nation members, we went live and had a little party in the afternoon. I created that card. Stamp Nation members, you can go over and see the replay. Okay. Next up. The Forever Extras. I just did that like a sports announcer. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the Diamonds Are Forever background stamp. I love that. You guys, this is so mod. It's really, really <clears throat> a fun look on the back. We have the Forever Your Sentiments. These are hand lettered by Lacey. So custom font here. Then we have these two products that go together. <clears throat> we have the fancy loop die and the around the loop dies. I always make sure I get the names <laughs> right. On the back, you'll always find the name and our illustrator. So the way these work, here's the fancy loop. That's what it's gonna look like. This is buttercream. And then the around the loop dies were made to all nest one inside the other so you can layer them on a card. You can also layer them with this. So the biggest one is ever so slightly larger <laughs> than around the loop so that you can have a little mask behind it <coughs> or mat. This one is just slightly smaller but it fits right inside there. And then it goes on from there. Love it. You, if you wanted to take off that scallop, you can add this in here like that. <clears throat> and then they get pretty small. So we'll be using these today. All right. Elizabeth, I love your question. What happens to all of Catherine's beautiful cards that she creates and all the cards we get from our um, card making team? 
Well, some of them we keep because we use them periodically for different things, like showing you guys inspiration, or we photograph them for emails and marketing information. But we do send huge batches of cards to um, scrapbook.com for their card drive. So after we've kind of finished with everything, um, we go through and we send some of those away. And then also sometimes we just get a fancy and we send cards to you guys. So that's what happens. We also send them to our brick and mortar stores. Yes, to use so for display. If you have a brick and mortar store near you and you walk in, you may see some of our cards in there. <clears throat> so Christy did this one where she cut the ovals in half and did a rainbow. I love, love, love this card. And let's see, this one, Christy and Lisa. So Lisa did this one where she cut, not in half, but cut part of it, added it over here, and did some twine. So it's kind of like a little corset. It's not fun. And then use the smaller one for the sentiment. You can just use the around the loop right onto your card front. <clears throat> can also layer it like this. This is kind of what I did here. So you can use the dies together on top of each other and cut out different pieces and parts of that around the loop die. <coughs> Sound okay? I love how, um, depending on how you choose to use the stuff, you can place. look really clean and modern, like this <clears throat> card. You can kind of have like an old school doily vibe, like fun classic, or you could go like this fun retro mm -hmm. <laughs> situation here. So it just kind of depends on your color combo <clears throat> and how you use your items together. There's a lot of versatility. <laughs> So I was trying to jump in because you were I know. coughing a little. I know, and I'm <laughs> laughing because I feel like I'm being very formal right now because I have an agenda. And oh. I'm like, chip, chip, chip through the agenda. Don't chip through the agenda. And I'm trying to not <laughs> cough and sound froggy at what, the same time. What a time you're having. Oh. <clears throat> we'll, we'll get to the uh, laughs in a few minutes. But this, we're, we're, this is the business part. This is very serious. Okay, so the... Diamond stamp set or background stamp on the back and clear. I love the classy business that that gives. <laughs> classy business? Yes, classy business right here. So I'm going to use this idea on my card today. Uh, we are going to emboss it on the background, not in clear. We'll do something different. And then Christy did white on craft card stock. That's a great idea. And then this way actually gives it a little bit of a chevron look. <clears throat> Debbie has a big shot that she has been using for about 25 years. I love it. This one, uh, Christy, yes, uh-huh. She used this die with uh, one of those embossing pads so that it doesn't cut. It actually just makes emboss lines, which is a beautiful look. And then this one, just uh, the oval for your sentiment piece. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, sorry. I might get a cough drop. How about that? Yeah, do you have some? I do. Perfect. Is that gonna be bothersome? No. Okay. All right, so let's just clean up the area and I have some stamping plans, my friends. Good times. <clears throat> First thing I've been working on over here so I have my stamping tool and my Diamonds Are Forever background stamp. I'm stamping in embossing ink. And that looks a little gray because I didn't clean my stamp Something's all dirty. Enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, depending <laughs> on what you black. emboss with it, it, that will get covered up. So, Well, let's see. Cream on top is currently <laughs> my favorite embossing powder. It was made to go with our, um, which one? Um, which ink? It goes with buttercream. And that's a part Oops. of the coffee with Catherine Wow Trio. And it is an embossing glitter. I'm a big fan. You love an embossing <clears throat> glitter. And... Let's see. 
How about this? This will make you guys happy. Yeah. <laughs> they worry about your asbestos oh, fingers. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, Tiffany said she thinks it would be fun to emboss it and then paint inside the triangles with her refills. Yeah. Try that over the weekend. Good idea. <clears throat> All right. Can you guys see this turning? It's so pretty. Yeah, it's always fun to add embossed details to your cards. We've got some embossing fans with us. Wonderful. So this is basically kind of a cream embossing powder with glitter in it and some white, a little bit of kind of a light gold. It's stunning. I love it. So there's step one. <clears throat> I do think it's not quite set right across that top line. I don't you know if you're going to do anything over it. Yeah. Okay. She's going to make sure that whole thing is embossed for me. All right. So next up, stamping these guys. <clears throat> so when we created this set, we wanted it to be really easy for you to know which stamps go together. So A1 stamps first in the lighter color, and then A2 goes on top of it in a darker color. So how do you know which colors to stamp together? Well, grab your handy dandy color wheel. And like we said, for the ombre stamping, it's the same concept. So if you want to do red, start with pink champagne, and then you can stamp rose petals, rouge, peppermint scrub, or merlot on top of it. I encourage you to try different color and shade combinations and see what works for the particular project you're working on. Sometimes I might do rose petals and peppermint scrub or pink champagne and rouge or rose petals and merlot. With the reds, you have a lot of combination possibilities. With something like sauna, we don't have a lot of orange yellows yet, so you could jump over here and do whipped honey shea butter and then do sauna on top of it. Could also do one of these with sauna on top. Just make sure the shade is lighter for the bottom stamp or the first stamp. <clears throat> so, I really like the orange, the oranges for the roses, I think just gorgeous yeah so pretty and I also have been mixing in buttercream with my oranges which just looks so pretty buttercream is really yummy it can kind of pull um, but it is a neutral so it really will mix and match so nicely with so many colors or any color really <laughs> so many any so many any <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so buttercream. Let's see what it looks like with the different colors stamped on top. So buttercream and then apricot. That's going to be a really subtle look. Orange peel. Mandarin spice. Pretty, pretty. And ginger. Oh, so pretty. Do you have a favorite? I kind of like the ginger. I like it too. It's a cool rustic feel. <clears throat> Let's see apricot. You can also do this. Oh, second gen. Mm-hmm. Whoops, I went orange peel. I meant to do another apricot. Apricot. So apricot. Orange peel. Orange peel. And let's do orange peel over apricot second gen. And that's super subtle. It's a little hard to see on the video, but it actually is really cool. When you cut it out, it'd be really neat. So 
Apricot, apricot, apricot. <laughs> did I do orange peel, mandarin spice, and then ginger? Is that what I just did? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to start over. Right, this, is, this is mandarin spice, I think. Let's do ginger on top. You guys get the picture. <laughs> You get what I'm. You get what I'm going after here. Any questions? <clears throat> oh, wonderful! I love it. Audrey said she's emailing her favorite European retailer to ask them when they will have the oh. woven lace collection in their shop. Yes. Yes, Audrey. Um, we definitely have a number of our international partners who purchase um, very frequently. So, if you are wondering. Um, on our website, we have a list of our wholesale partners, our retail partners, so folks <clears throat> that sell brick and mortar and online um, all across the globe. We also ship globally. <coughs> if there is a store near you that is not on our list, definitely feel free to go in there and tell them about CP and ask them to carry our stuff. That's how we've gotten in a number of stores. So thank you for spreading the word about our brand. We really appreciate that. E1, E2. They were paying attention so they know what's happening. <laughs> oh, great. They know what's happening, but we don't. They know what's happening. We can go watch the replay and see what I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so gorgeous. What? Spa greens and the mm. blue, green, green blues mixed in. Oof, Ugh. So pretty. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do the D1 and D2. Let's see. Yeah, let's do D1 and D2. I grabbed a pin off your desk and it doesn't work. Uh oh. <clears throat> It's cute. It's a cute pin. Sometimes I don't get inked up well enough, and then I gotta eyeball it and stamp it twice. <clears throat> that looks pretty good. And let's go sage on top. Ah, oh, so pretty. Oh, I love it. Anything else anyone wants to see? Do you know what, what we haven't done? <clears throat> We've done a lot of like, um, peach and orange roses and we've done a few pinks but I haven't done any yellow ones. Yellow could be really fun. I haven't done any blue roses either. No, I've never seen the blue rose IRL but you know. Now you're going to see one. Okay. <laughs> I'm here for, for it. I am yeah. here. I'm here for a blue rose. <clears throat> Why not? Let's see. Um, Which rose is this? I think it's this one. Yeah, that's A. Let's do A. Let's see what these blue roses look like. Yeah, Sue, so if you don't have sage and matcha yet, you definitely need to add those to oh, your yeah. list. Oh, come on with that pretty old hot tub. <laughs> come on with that. Oh, yes, lilac roses, Tracy. Ooh. Yes, purple roses. That would be beautiful. All right, skylight. Oh, beautiful. And let's do a daydream one. Oh, so pretty. I love it. Oh, this one too. Oh, Monique said her husband <clears throat> got her a bouquet of red, white, and blue flowers one time. Oh, that's fun. Okay. I like the daydream. Debbie, we don't have any ink beans to spill today, but you're always with us, so you won't miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of, if you aren't signed up for our newsletter, you want to be, so you're in the know for all of the good things that happen here in our clubhouse. Tell them how it's done, Catherine. What do you mean? How do they sign up for the newsletter? Oh, go download the color wheel and you'll get signed up. Yes. You can also just go to shop.catherinepooler.com. If you don't get a pop-up, you can scroll to the bottom, and there's a sign-up box there. 
And is everyone that here that's here, have y'all subscribed to the channel? Pop a guess in the box. <laughs> oh, fun. Debbie said she got some new inks last <clears throat> night. So those are on the way. Nice. I love what you picked. Matcha, serene, cummerbund, s'mores, and blackjack. I have a feeling you have something in mind. Filling in your collection. So I have this already die cut. This is buttercream. And if I do the sentiment on here, and then oh. some roses. I love it. Digging that. Mm -hmm. I also am wondering, what if I do some metallic flicking on the background? Should I just do it on the frame? Should I do it on the sentiment piece? Should I do it on the roses? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? While you are debating about that, <clears throat> could go this way. Oh, no, Happy Valentine's Day is too big for that particular layer, but could do Happy Birthday. Thank you. We also have the secondary sentiments in the stamp set, mm -hmm. which we love. Or one of these. Yep. Um, I, oh gosh, I mean, you just have so many options. I think with the flicking, I always like to not get it on my sentiment. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the world is your oyster. You don't always have my heart. Um, Embellish Away is asking the difference between Lux and other inks. Lux is just a group of colors. They are party inks, so they're fully saturated. And they are mostly the darkest tones. Actually, I think all of them are the darkest, current darkest tones in their color <clears throat> families. Um, but they were just a collection of colors that we released together. So um, there isn't anything else about them that's specifically different other than the color. They are party colors. Um, can you paint onto that frame to make it look metallic? You On could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, they're saying flick, flick it on the background. Okay. Um, if you put it on the roses, it'll look like a golden dew. Oh. To do it on the roses and the background. Okay. So, where where'd all my roses go? They're right there. Your little blue ones, right? No, all the all the orange ones. Oh, did I not bring them back? I don't see them. Let me grab them. Well, she's gone. I'm gonna tell you. I'm in here, and I'm getting ready for the video. I had my little pile of orange roses that I stamped, and she came in and swiped them all, and I gave her the side eye, and she said, "Don't you worry, I'm coming right back." Let's all do the Jeopardy, Jeopardy sound while we wait for them to come back. <laughs> I'm talking about you, Erica. I know you are. <laughs> Stealing my stuff. Yep. Yay, there they are. Look at all these beautiful roses I prepared. There you go. Yay, thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So I'm going to do a small paintbrush. I feel like that gives me a little more control because I just want some little... Flicky doodahs. Flickety doodahs. And maybe I'll just do these on the roses. Not the leaves. Yeah. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I think everything. She's going wild. Let's do it all. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use yet. I have a couple options. There we go. Okay. Oh, interesting. You felt they stayed wetter longer. They they wouldn't. It's the same same formula. But maybe it's just, yeah. Yes, Debbie's saying if they're newer, maybe they're just a little juicier, and that's why you feel that way. Mm. I got mommed. Was she scolding me? Well, guys, <laughs> I was just doing my job and helping someone else with theirs, so. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I was cracking up. I was like, hmm. Get those right for she was like, like where are you going? going? I did I was say like, I was bringing them back, going? but I was waiting for an okay on the picture I took. So, oh my gosh, that's so I funny. forgot. I got uh, to pulled into something <clears throat> else. And it's left all right. Them. They didn't go too far away, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh golly, um, Jessica, we get asked this question a lot about ink pad storage, and honestly, we do not have an answer because we do not know. We are working on new colors for this year, and um, 
we just we just continue to try to fill in the gaps effectively um, where we feel we need new colors and <clears> with <throat> things that we think, oh golly, how come we don't have this color? Or um, so we really don't know where it will land. But I'm with Monique. Go for the 120. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely go for 120 because yeah. we're already at 95. We're already at 95. So, yeah, but we don't have an end in mind. I love that your husband is making you an ink pad holder. I don't, I don't, I don't think we'd go over 150 for sure, but we never can tell. <laughs> we just don't know. We don't know. All right, so that is up on foam tape. So we have some dimension here on this card. Then always in my heart. I could put that up on foam tape as well, or just glue it right to the card front. I'm going to glue it to the card front to give more dimension or more layers and heights on the card. I think it'll make it a little bit more polished, maybe. Well, I, th I think you couldn't go wrong either way. And then layer on some flowers. <clears throat> this card is a lot of bling. I think I need a new jewel picker. It's not so sticky anymore. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh no. And this one I don't think is so sticky anymore either. I did a so, very silly thing. Someone needs to go to the warehouse and shop. I that? took mine oh. and got something on it and then took my finger to scrape it off and I scraped the sticky bit off. I broke mine basically. Oh. So, good job. Good job, me. <clears throat> We will continue to bring minis to your homes. Yes. We are developing them as we speak. So if you're a big mini fan, just hold tight. More will be coming your way. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Yeah, a fun way to build your collection if you're sort of slowly kind of curating it is if you pick a pattern paper pack that you love, look what the colors are that are in that pack and see what holes you have in your collection and you can fill in that way. Um, that is really, that's really gorgeous. Thanks. So this leaf is going to have to go on foam tape. The good news is, guys, if we had, you guys are hilarious. If we had 150, they wouldn't all release at the same time. So you wouldn't have to buy them all at once. <laughs> are they getting upset about 150? No, they're like, oh, oh no, I'm going to go broke. Uh. <laughs> Yay, Debbie says she's really excited about her fancy loop and around the loop dies that are coming. She can't wait to play with those. Nice. <laughs> Very elegant, Patty says. Yeah, I think this subtle, soft color combo is a winner. All the colors except Spring Fling and How Do You Live Without Melonites. Oh, wow. <laughs> Next time you shop, please add that so I won't cry. <laughs> please add that. That's funny. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay. So down here, up here is a cluster of two. Down here, we do a cluster of three. Are all the party colors currently available in minis? Yes. The last full collection that went in the shop <clears throat> was uh, date night. Sharon says if you clean your jewel picker with soap and water, it might get sticky again. Oh, I will try that. Yeah, I actually picked the end off of it, so it had nothing to be sticky, but yours looks like it might be salvageable. We got some Dawn in the kitchen. Yep. <laughs> so just tucking le the leaves behind and under and here and there. And everywhere. And everywhere. I need my fidget thing. Oh, no. Ooh. You feeling fidgety? I am. I'm like about to take some of your paper scraps and make little paper airplanes. No, ma'am. <laughs> oh, you can. You can do that all you want if that makes you feel better. <laughs> oh, Lux minis. 
Lux minis are in the shop, yeah? Yeah. They went after date night, so I was wrong. Lux are the, the last uh, party colors that went in. Oh, there we go. Then, I think we need a few Venice sequins tucked in here and there as well. <clears throat> um, Spring Fling were a collection of lighter shades, but some of them are actually very vibrant. So if you haven't played mm -hmm. with them, um, several of those colors is, are, um, they're, they might be more vibrant than you expect. Bellini, for instance. Oh, yeah, that's almost neon. Yes. Um, it's amazing. And the, yeah, I mean, oh, boy. Minted is, I use minted on, like, pfft, so many cards. <laughs> it's one of your favorites. It is. And then I'm like, oh, what does this card need? Minted. Oh, what does this color Always combo need? <laughs> minted. Always. <laughs> okay. There we go. Gorgeous. So lots of things going on here, but nothing hard. Just a really great card to sit down and work on all the little different pieces and parts of it and just relax and enjoy and make a card for someone that you love. Gorgeous. I love it. It's so pretty. Piecing, piecing the together is really relaxing. Is that yeah. what you're saying? It was. Mm -hmm. It really was. And I have one more card that I want to make real quick. How about that? Sure. And those are the Venice sequins. <clears throat> those are brand new part of this mm -hmm. collection. It is a peachy uh, mix. Very sparkly. There's some little iridescent flowers in there. Gorgeous. Here, let me put it back in the frame. It sucks so you can still look at it while okay. I grab this. I love that you have another idea brewing. So I need colors. Yes. Um, You've got your color combo for paper hearts. Mm-hmm. You need an ink blending brush. Okay. You got some scratch paper there. <clears throat> Need a piece of cardstock. Okay, put that aside. Okay. If you are just joining in, welcome, welcome. You've missed a good hunk, but you can go back and watch the replay. Just continue to hang out. Catherine's diving into another card, but we are playing with the new Love and Lace collection that hit our shop today. All of these items are for sale in the shop now. You can go in and check out the bundles, pick your favorites, pick your favorite items a la carte and build your own whatever makes you happy. So the color that I'm ink blending right now is a blend of pink champagne and whatever purple was already on my brush. Yeah. And that's fine. I'm just looking for a light, subtle shade shadow in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then this guy's going to go on here. <laughs> what? Look at that. To so pretty. the multi-step rose stamp set is called Roses Are Red. Then this was created to coordinate with this set. And I thought it would be really pretty. Just stamp it in the background. Oh. So I'm going to do Serene. I'm going to stamp it first because it's a new stamp. <clears throat> if you stamp your stamp and it's a little bit splotchy, take it on scratch paper and just rub it and then ink. Stamp again. See if you need to re-ink your pad. This one probably needs a little bit of re-inking, but we're just, because this is going to be a background element, it doesn't need to be, it just needs to be subtle. And then that like that. Then... I was thinking about oh. popping that up over the top. You like that? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And just going black and white. Hey there, guys that have just joined in. Welcome, Kathy. It's your first time. You're enjoying watching Catherine make these cards. We're really happy to have you join us today. I need some more splattering. Claire is sneaking in on her lunch break. Oh, right. who else is sneaking in on their lunch break? We need to we need to uh, have our lunch break. <laughs> we do. In a little while. And then I need to go home because oh. apparently, you guys, have you been following along with our home reno? <laughs> We've been living in our house for 22 years. We got 
one of our dogs who, bless him, we loved him so much, but he was old and he made accidents on the carpet all over the place. So we knew we couldn't do anything to the house he was while sick. he was around. Poor buddy. Poor baby. Yeah. And then we had kids move out. So that had to happen too. We have one left and she's very tolerant. And she also wanted a home reno so bad. Um, so we are doing the home renovation. Yeah, she's picking finishes. Oh, her, yeah. Her room that she's um, going to live in for five more months. <laughs> there's one tile that um, the designer, because one of my best friends is an interior yes. designer, so she's helping me. She picked. She picked. And Eva said, did you know this? Yeah. If you pick this one, I'm moving out. It's just not her style. We all have different tastes. She is very opinionated. She's very opinionated. She was a little upset by some of the wallpaper samples you had, too, yesterday. She was like, oh, no. Well, which, which one? I forget. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she was expressing herself. Oh, no. She was angry about the painting the ceiling in oh. the... She said, just paint over all that beautiful natural wood. Oh, she's upset about that? Yeah. Okay, so this has been a big <laughs> debate in the house. I think the two things I'm having the hardest time with are... What to do with the ceiling on the... Um, in the porch. The screen and porch. Oh, my goodness. That is so pretty. I got a boo-boo there, yeah. so we're going to have to... We'll cover it up with the sequin. Sequin. <clears throat> I haven't really used my Lisbon sequins yet. Oh, wait, no, I did make a shaker card. Yeah. Okay, so the <laughs> the porch ha um, ceiling ended up being way more gorgeous than I expected, and then we didn't want to paint it. But the flooring we got... I wanted to stain it, but the flooring we got is very... This is a very gray undertone. Gray-brown. It's mm -hmm. a grayish, very, very gray. And then all of the, the pine is orange-yellow, so any of the stains are really pulling through orange-yellow. So that's that's not jiving. So we're going to have to... We're trying. We're going to try a whitewash. I don't like a... Sh or I don't want, for my decor, a shabby chic looking one or a rustic. I want like a solid whitewash. So... Yeah, the finishes he showed us I thought were quite nice, so <clears throat> yeah. hopefully it'll work in, like, the right tone, but still reveal some of the wood grain. But if it doesn't yes. work, you can just paint it. We're just going to paint it white. So, lot, I put it on um, Instagram, and most people said... Uh, yeah, everyone's saying you should stain dang. it. <laughs> I know, but... Erica, you were hardcore yeah. against whitewash, yes. and when Erica went over with me yesterday, it was it. It's, it's just not it's tough. It's not gonna go. And I also am a huge. I kept saying the ceiling and the floors don't touch. They didn't have to match, but they do need to coordinate. And the tile, it just wasn't looking right. No, it just wasn't the right. And the ceiling. pine is just. It's way too orange. Yes, if you didn't mind that yellow red undertone. Yeah. You could have been okay with and it. And I want it. I want it brown. Yes. I want the ceiling to be brown. Yeah. And the it's actual not wood be brown. just pulls very orange because yeah. it has a. It's a very heavily yellow tone to yeah. it. Yeah. It's gorgeous, so, and they got you know, doesn't have knots. It's really nice pine. It's very pretty. <sighs> so Sad I don't day. know what we got on that hot. It's a tangent, but <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> We took a left at the sign. Yeah. Okay. We got to um, cover up that smooge, smudge. Lisa's here for you. She's like, just paint it. Who? <laughs> Lisa. Oh, thank like, you, Lisa. I like approval. No. I mean, that's what he said yesterday, though, after we really looked at it. It's like, really, this is probably the best plan. But the um, the whitewash finish that he showed us, I thought looked nice. Yes. So it wasn't what I was picturing in my mind. So Same. Um, hopefully that comes out. But you know, if you don't like it, you can say halt. Mm hmm So. Oh, but look at this. Should I mom her, guys? Because she's just going to skive off in the middle of the day. We have I know. I got to go check the whitewashing situation. <laughs> Uh-oh. We have 12% left on your haircut. <gasps> that was a very... Like, it's a very clean and simple card, but you used quite a few different little techniques. I did. And I really loved just the black and white image on there. Yeah. Gorgeous. So, and that came together super quick. Back to card making. Yeah. All right. We'll get back to the card making. <laughs> so, if you're new, we're so happy you're here. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. We go live almost every single Wednesday with more mm -hmm. card making ideas and fun here, there are, here on YouTube. Uh, the 14, 13 years oh. 
of history here yep. on the YouTube channel. Yeah. So You've been we've doing been here it, for a long time. <laughs> Today is Stamp Nation's birthday. So 12 years ago, we opened our membership site. It is a site with classes and exclusive tutorials and inspiration. We have challenges. We have events. We have a amazing, an amazing membership from around the world You're of such a cool people community. that love what we love mm -hmm. and <clears throat> we also offer ordering perks for our members they get to order our monthly releases early and then this month to celebrate the birthday we uh, gave them a coupon code for a $15.95 stamp set for free so not including this release but anything that we've mm -hmm. released prior so that is good through the end of the month so if you're not a member yet definitely head over to the shop hover over subscriptions and check out the Stamp Nation membership we hope you will join us and let us know if you have any questions. We're excited to be here. We're excited for this Love and Lace release. It's a good one, guys. <laughs> yeah. So we hope your day is amazing. Subscribe, like, and share, and we will see you again really soon.